You're such an asshole! Good evening, boys and girls. How are you? I want to make sure I can... Because Cappy loves being right. I think... Aaron, Aaron, what is it? Conan, what is... Uh, to see all your enemies run away in fear. Whatever he said, Conan the Barbarian. It, it's to be right. And remember when you guys were still complaining about jobs not being offered and you couldn't have a living wage. And, and then some of us who remember hard financial times are like, unemployment is below 4%. The last time it was below 4% was during the dot-com bubble ever so briefly. And it even got as low as the last time it was that low was 1969, 50 years ago, half a century ago. That wasn't good enough. Now, I'm no friend of employers, uh, but what ended up happening is what I think was good and just because the employers, the, the employers that have the jobs, corporations, they have the jobs, and they were headed up by, let's be frank, Gen X and boomer psychopaths, and they wanted to lord that power over you when unemployment was you know five or above. But then unemployment got tight, and there, there was no limit to the number of articles where Gen Xers and millennials just weren't showing up. They were ghosting their employers. They get a job offer, but then they get another job offer. And then the employers are like, what's going on? Why aren't they showing up? And I've had many battles with management, even though I'm an evil right-wing libertarian Republican. I've had many battles with management. Why well, I said, you see, Frank, the reason you can't have anyone stay in that position is because you pay $8 an hour. And that's why you get crappy employees. If you upped it to $16 an hour, you'd get all the good applicants who have really good, and, and then you wouldn't have turnover and constant training sessions. And then that division wouldn't be constantly failing to meet their numbers. If you're just willing to pay, spend a little bit more in money, like four or $5,000 a year, you will, be, you will save $100,000 over the next three years. Oh. Because we can't, not pay, not for paying a fair wage. I'm for paying a wage to get good quality labor. And so it 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 made me happy. One of the few things that I was very proud of, millennials and Gen Zers, is we just start ghosting employers. Screw you, Boomer. I'm not, I'm not showing up for you. Oh, you pay me twelve. They pay me fourteen. You didn't even give them a. You didn't even just show up. It was great. I was just like, bravo, bravo. I said, I said. Don't get used to this. Unemployment rarely goes below 4%. It really goes below 5%. You guys had it at like 3.5 at one time. And I said, the second we fall into recession, those employers are going to go back to their controlling, sadistic, psychopathic ways. And they're going to, I didn't say they're going to do the same to you, but they, they would, they, hey, I know I'm an old man now. They, would always rescind job offers. I'd show up. People wouldn't know I was starting. Um, what were some of the other ones? Oh, you'd have a great interview and like, we think you're our man. And then you'd call and call. It was like dating. Oh, I love you so much. It's great. I can't wait to hang out with you again. Me too. I'll call you. Okay, I'll call you next week. Hello? Hello, is so-and-so there? She, oh, well, tell her I called. Hello? You said you had a job offer. You said you wanted a date. Hello? Hello, remember that time we had this great time and 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 you said you wanted to see me? Oh, stop calling you and I'm a stalker. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what boomer employers were like. That's what Jenna. And here we have it. Did you notice a little bump in the unemployment rate? Did you see the thumbnail? <clears throat> From Yahoo Finance, which isn't a, a legit source of news, but it, it, the phenomenon is happening. Ghosting is not just for lovers. These job applicants say cruel and selfish employers do it too. Let, like literally six months ago, it was the other way around. I literally did a, a, a video of this. It was a bit of a dated article where it was the employees ghosting on their employers. Now, oh man, oh, oh. And if you think they were arrogant beforehand, my fine job app, uh, applying friends, just wait now when we have a crippling recession. We're at 10.3% unemployment. I'm kind of impressed. I thought I'd be much higher. GDP collapsed 33%. That's a record. It's a record. And you darn right, these psychopaths and sociopaths and these sadists 
are going to lord jobs over you. Better get perk up those lips, boys and girls. Perk them up and get ready to kiss some ass. Uh, so it, 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 the, I've never seen in economics, I've never seen tables reserve, re, uh, reverse this quickly. The search for new unemployment uh, employment has been brutal for millions of Americans faced with a 10.2% unemployment rate, with more than 58 million Americans losing their jobs since the start of the coronavirus shutdown in mid-March. Competition for the few slots available has been fierce. Job seekers of all ages are being forced to contend with a phenomenon often more familiar to the dating scene, ghosting. For the romantically uninitiated, that's when you crush dumps. Your crush dumps you but never takes the time to pick up the phone to let you know that they've moved on. Job seekers, job seekers. Before it was job employed, now it's job seekers. Job seekers are feeling the same sense of rejection, though this time it's hurting their wallets rather than hearts. According to a recent LinkedIn poll, 93% of job applicants report being ghosted by an employer after initial in-person interview or after responding to a request for additional information. LinkedIn news editor Andrew Siemens says he was surprised to see that ghosting is so pervasive. Ooh, what do you mean? Where have you? Where were you, Andrew? What are you? Are you just fresh out of the assembly line? You uh, you never applied for a job from 2000 to today, where employers just left, even in good economic times. The poll results he posted hit a nerve, prompting close to a thousand comments from job seekers, recruiters, and workers. Uh, I've been ghosted by, uh, and they're just citing it. A reply literally takes sec takes seconds once the decision has been made to be hanging on an answer. Oh God! Oh Patrick Boyle, Patrick Boyle, dude, you wouldn't even get, you wouldn't even get rejection letters in the mail. You get rejection letters, and they it, what what was worse is they lead you on and say, "Oh, we think you will call you." They said, "We'll we'll definitely call you." You haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. Recruiters, if you're paying attention to what's been said, I liken your ghosting on professionally to getting a partial haircut. Nobody does. Oh, recruit. Oh, oh. Just six months ago, you guys were doing it. So nice. Yes. Yes. Let your hate feed you. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't have to go through this. I, I'd say there's a large economic lesson. All I want to do was was post this and show this and uh you know just just try to refresh everyone's memory six short months ago was the different way around i'd like to i'd like to convey some information about economics i'd like to teach everybody about economics <coughs> but so few people listen so few people pay attention so now while you're all pissed off and angry and you're wondering why, why? Maybe this video might might pique your interest into studying economics a little bit more, and maybe you get a little bit wiser. But I'll tell you this. Get used to this because this is the new normal, kids, and this has always been the way it was. Back in 69, back in 98, and back in 2019, mm, the evil Trump economy. You, you, you may not see that. You may not see unemployment rates below 4% for the rest of your life. You may never see that again. And so if we are lucky enough as an economy in a country to get to a point where we have unemployment below 4%, may I suggest to all you basement dwellers and you lazy millennials still living at home and, oh, everything's so unfair, maybe you get off your ass next time and get yourself a job, no matter what it is, because unemployment below 4% doesn't last long. You had your shot. You had your And if you thought... And I'm not terribly fond of Trump. I'm not, but if you thought, quote unquote, the Trump economy was bad, you have not seen anything yet, my fine pampered friend. All right. This video brought to you by How Not to Become a Millennial, a great book where if you had studied economics, you'd be like, dang, I should apply for jobs because unemployment is below 4%. <laughs> not anymore. See you kids later. Toodles.